Welcome to Level Pixel Level, and this is Rigging for Animation. Today I'm just going to work through a multi-stage piston. Uh, the last two weeks I went over how to rig a piston, basically a basic piston on a hydraulic arm, and today I just want to talk about a multi-stage piston. And this is what we're going to be making today. Uh, it's a very simple rig. I've left a file on Gumroad showing the beginning and the end that you can download. Um, all I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep this piston here midway between the other two pistons as it moves. And I'm doing this with a couple constraints. If I do Alt Z, you can sort of see what's happening behind the scenes. I go down to Gumroad to download this model and follow along. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my 3D cursor is at origin. Uh, to do this, come to this view panel here for 3D cursor, put the location at zero and put the rotation at zero. Now I'm going to go to add armature single bone. And that's going to add an armature at the origin of my scene. Now you can't see it right now because it's inside of that uh, geometry. I just want to isolate it so I can work with the armature to prepare it for this rig. So I'm going to go to view, local view, toggle local view. I'm just going to isolate the armature. So I'm going to go to edit mode. So up here I'm going to flip from object mode to edit mode. So I just want to put this bone in world space. Uh, I've gone over a couple times as to why I would want to do that. And today I'm going to do it through an input. So I'm actually going to select the tail of the bone. So every bone has a, a head and a tail and then the full bone makes the vector. So I just want to select the tail of the bone. And if you come to item, you'll see that you actually have transforms. You have the head transform and the tail transform. I'm just going to put the Z axis at zero and I'm going to put the Y axis at one. And that's going to put the bone in world space for me. I'm just going to flip to pose mode, select on my bone and I'm going to flip the rotation order from quaternion to XYZ for now. So this is my root bone. This is going to be the base bone. So first thing I'm going to do is name it. I'm just going to name it root. And I'll rename my rig. I'll name it uh, multi underscore stage underscore piston. Okay, I'm going to exit local view now. I'm going to go to view, local view, toggle local view. And I want to add a child of this bone at this cylinder right here. So I'm going to flip back to object mode. I'll select on this bottom cylinder here and it's just named bottom piston. I'm going to hit tab to go to edit mode and I just want to put my cursor right at the center there. So I'm going to hit shift S cursor to selection. That puts my 3D cursor right at that base right there. So now I'm going to exit edit mode, go back to object mode. I'll select my rig my armature again and I can't see it right now but I'm going to just come underneath and hit tab I'm going to select the entire bone this time I'm going to go to armature duplicate and as soon as you hit that you'll be able to move it in space it will not lock its position until you click the mouse again or hit enter I don't really care where this bone is right now because I'm going to snap it to the cursor right now I'm going to hit shift s Snap to cursor. Good, so that's my base bone there. And I'm going to name this one, I'll just name it base underscore bottom. So I'm going to put one at the top as well now too. So up here, this cylinder up here, I'm going to hit tab. I'm just going to hit A to select everything. I'm going to hit shift S, cursor to selection. Now I'm going to go back to object mode. I'm going to select on the rig. I'm going to go back to edit mode. Select on the bottom bone, hit shift D. I'm just going to click to confirm anywhere in space and do shift S, selection to cursor. Now that I have these bones in place, I don't actually need to see the geometry anymore. So I'm actually going to go view and I'm going to go to uh, local view, toggle local view for now. Okay, so I want to parent both of these to this bottom bone here. So I select these two bones, 
I select this bottom bone. And I can go to Armature, Parent, Make. And I'm going to keep these as Keep Offset for now. So I can test this out in Pose Mode. When I move this bottom bone here, these two move with it. I'll just zero these out. Okay, so I'm actually going to add another bone right here. And it's going to use a damp track to point at this bone up here. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to add another bone here. It's going to have a damp track to point down to this bone. It's very similar to the other piston rig I set up. I'm just going to do a little bit quicker today. So to do this, I'm going to grab this bottom bone here. I'm going to go to edit mode. I'm going to select on that bone and I'm going to hit shift D to duplicate that. Now I clicked my mouse to confirm. There is another bone there. It's just in the exact same location. I'm going to flip my pivot point to individual origins. I'm going to come to my rotation tool here. So I'm going to hit R, X, 90. And that points it towards that bone up there. The other option that I can do here is use these inputs in here for the head and the tail of the bone to get that to work. Now I'm simply just going to duplicate this bone. And I can duplicate it anywhere in space. I'm going to do a bit of a different trick here. I'm going to go to armature. And I'm going to do switch direction. Now armatures work with snap as well. So I can come to my magnet tool here and I can flip it to vertex. Now with that on vertex, I can move this bone now and it will move into position and actually snap to that top bone. So last thing I have to do is parent some of these up. This one is going to be this one's going to be parented to here, and this one's going to be parented to here. So I'll select this bone here. I'll hold shift and select this bone. I'll go to armature, parent, make, and keep offset. I'll do the same thing down here. I'll select this bone. I'll shift select this bone. I'll go armature, parent, make, and I'll keep offset. So I'm just going to add the constraints. I'm going to flip to pose mode. And I'm just going to rename some of these bones here. I'm going to come up to this one here, and I'm just going to name it uh, Base Top. I'll grab this bottom bone here, and I'm going to rename it Piston Bottom. I'm going to select this bone here, and I'm just going to name it Piston Top. Okay, so Piston Top, I want to point to Base Bottom. So I'll select on Piston Top. I'll come to the Bone Constraint tab. I'm going to add a Damp Track. I tend to use Damp Track over Track 2 just because it tends to flip a little bit less and I like the reliability of it. You can try out Lock Track as well, although I find sometimes it's tough to work with. So just because it locks the actual track and it limits you in certain ways and you can get flipping. So I add a Damp Track and the target is my rig, so it's multi-stage piston here. Once I do that, this bone option is going to come up and I'm going to click base bottom. That's what I named that bone. So now when I grab this bone down here and I hit G, it's just going to follow it. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing for this bone here. I'm going to point it to this controller up here, which is named base top. So I'll select this bottom bone. I'll add a bone constraint. I'll add a damp track. And it'll be multi-stage piston. That's my rig. And I'm going to do base top. So now when I move this bone, I get that effect. And when I move this control down here, I get this effect. I'll just zero these out. Now I'm going to go back to the geometry and parent everything up. So I'm going to go view local view, toggle local view. So I'm actually going to flip back to object mode. And one thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to come to edit and turn off lock object modes. Uh, this is a mode that just locks the object mode you're in and it can be tough to work with when you're rigging. I'm also going to turn on object transparency up here, which is this little button right here. So I'm going to select the bottom pieces here, uh, which is the cylinder and this platform and this piston right here. And I'm going to shift select the rig. I'm going to go to pose mode. 
and I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna select that bottom bone right there, that bottom controller. And I'll go to pose, parent, and then I have an option here called bone. So I'm gonna click on that. I'll grab these top three pieces. I'll do the same thing. I'll click on the rig again. I'll hold shift and I'm gonna click on that top controller up there. I'm gonna go pose, parent, bone. So now, when I move this piece, I get this. Now those pieces are moving correctly. There's just still a little bit of a problem. I have to parent up this piece to this control here. So I'll select it. I'll select this control in here. I'll do pose, parent, bone. And I'll select this bottom piston. I'll select the rig and I'll parent it to this controller right here with the constraint on it. I'll go pose, parent, bone. So now when I move this top piece, I get that. So this is stuff I sort of covered in the other video. I just want to now talk about this middle piece and how I'm actually going to rig it. So I'm going to come back to my armature. I'm going to toggle local view. I'm going to grab this controller down here. I'm going to hit tab and I'm going to do shift D. I'm just going to hit S on my keyboard, and this allows me to just scale that bone down a little bit. What I'm actually going to do is parent this bone to this bone up here. So I'm going to select on this controller up here, and I'll do Armature, Parent, Make, and I'll do Keep Offset. Now I'm going to flip back to Pose Mode. So I select this bottom bone here. It still has this damp track, and I don't need this anymore. So here's what's happening right now. I'm getting sort of that effect, which is really cool. That's sort of what I want. So now I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna take this bottom bone and I'm gonna do a copy transforms to this top one here. And I'll show you that right now. I'll do add bone constraint, copy transforms. I'm going to add a multi-stage piston. And for the bone, it's just gonna be that piston bottom bone right there. Now nothing's going to change because these bones are in the same position, so the copy transforms doesn't actually do anything. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the influence to 0.5. Now as I move this top bone now, I get that offset in the copy transforms. And I'll show you how that works right now. I'm going to exit local view, I'm going to go view, local view, toggle local view, and I'll grab this middle piston piece right here. Then I'll click on that new bone that I created down here in pose mode. And I'll go pose, parent, bone. So I'm just going to move this piece now out of the way. And you can sort of see how that middle piston is always halfway in between the other two. I'll turn transparency off now. This is the controller that had the copy transforms on it. If I just turn that to zero, that's just a direct parent with this controller up here. So when I move this and translate this, it's just going to translate 100% with the parent. But if I put that influence at 0.5 to that copy transforms to this bone back here, I get that really nice offset with the piston. And I'm going to hit Alt-Z to turn off the rig uh, show in front option here. And now you'll see when I move this down. I'm getting that nice multi-stage piston there and moving up is fine as well. And it's always halfway in between the other two pieces. So this mixed with my other technique of adding a shape key can add some really cool effects to a piston rig. Uh, but it's just something to keep in mind. This can be extended to four, five, six, seven, eight different offshoots as well. It doesn't just have to be three. It makes a really nice cool effect. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and if you want me to explore any other uh, piston rigging techniques. Thank you.